Okay, restarting the recording, but not the stream then. Hello, welcome to the latest World of ZZT stream. Today we are going to be playing the rest of the Octroberfest entries. It will be starting with this incredibly easy to run kitten hallway. A love, love kitty tail. Running on a custom fork of ZZT that works just great with the latest version of Zeta. Thank goodness. See, my, the thing with these modified ZZTs is my brain is like, okay, before I move, I need to find where the player is. But there is no player. There I am. All right, here's our short little credits. Here's our short little plug. Ooh. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, well, this is our first of many ethical challenges. This is our first of many kitties. Okay, that hurt me quite a bit. This looks to be a very painful game. Hmm. Well, I'm doing fantastic. More cats. More cats. Ooh. Cat with big eyes. Man. Sensing a theme here. And I am going to die doing this. And I also threw away a key. But maybe the death will be intentional. Are these any particular cats, or is this just searching for pictures of cats? Well, game over. Let's start anew. Um, not carrying too many white keys. Okay. So can I pick up a pink key? Let's go with the yellow. Okay. Take the yellow key. I'm going into the cat void. Hooray! I win! I've solved the puzzle. That was cute. Good cats. Good keys. Good doors. Aww. Very good cats.
Okay. Before I move on, only because this is a modified ZZT, explicitly, well, not explicitly for this game, but because it was included with this game, what will happen if I do play this with the speed turned up? Okay, so it's just a Psycho Mantis thing, or I'm not allowed to use a turbo controller, but I can't tell. Why do I have so fewer points? I feel like there's more to this game. Okay, well, that was our first. Let's move along to... Uh, does Bubba's Bubbles also need the Blink X thing? Fantastic, that's what cats do. Okay, attempting to run bubbles14c.exe with Zeta just immediately closed the window. So I'm just going to try bubzzt.exe. That looks a bit more correct. It's cute. It was right to the point. It had its premise and it stuck with it. That being said, now it's time... For Bubba's Bubbles, a bubbly puzzly game. Well, with help from Bubba Goose, that did not help very much at all. Beta test my arrows. Beta test my cipher. Bubbles Bubbles is a strand type game. Clear all nine levels to win. Skill exits will disappear after one try. Clever exits will disappear too. Clever exits go to a special stage. Ha ha! Find the secret ending. Listen to the geese, believe the geese, follow the geese, trust the geese, love the geese. Good luck, you'll need it. Warp Essex send you to Warp Zone. Extra keys are worth 25 points. Good luck. Alright, I don't know what I'm in for here. Oof. Bubbles, yes. Welcome to Bubbles Bubbles. These are Bubbles Bubbles. This is Bubba. Movements are limited. Don't waste them. And the blue key. And I did see one thing this game is doing is it's altering how ZZT displays keys. There's actually a font. Sure, maybe I should put that on. Yeah. Okay. 
Let me do that real quick. I mean, this technically still works, it's just that those characters aren't exactly key characters. So let's see here. Right, vanillas. Well, that's just vanilla. I'm just going to go back to a had it and we'll live with that. But Will did do a cool thing with the keys to try and make them distinct with multiple characters so that you don't. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's actually it. Easy dash up fonts. There's no bubfont.com. There's bubbles.com, though, and I'm sure it's that. Ooh. <laughs> it doesn't like this. My console window is full of invalid opcodes and unknown interrupts. But we're all set for the horror game. I just want to see what this looks like in an actual game. Oh, hey, though, the keys look great. Is this actually correct? Well, until this turns out to be a disaster, we'll play with our cool keys, hopefully. It's all good. Man, it could have been five minutes ago. I'd never remember my command line stuff for Zeta because it rarely comes into play. Okay, so now I understand the gameplay at least. But anyways, you can see we now have distinct key characters for all seven colors. So if you're playing ZZT and you're colorblind, and the doors as well, as you can see a green one on the right there by some ammo, it makes it, you know, something you can actually comprehend. Problem with modified ZZT though is Okay, for all I know, I can pick up multiple keys. When you get hit, you return to the start. To achieve a skilled exit, take no damage. Good luck. Skilled exits are in gray and white. Unskilled are yellow and brown. That's me. I want to read all these scrolls. Okay. You'll need keys to progress. Multiple paths forward. Not all paths create equal. Skilled exits require more precise paths. Where's that green key? Some paths will be blocked off. Those are how many times I can take the transporters. So you can see there's a three and a four here. And now it's a two and a three. Because those are the ones that it intersected with. Don't be fooled into doubling back. Keys of the wrong color are worth a bonus. Collect them if you can do so safely. Not doing so hot. What about the top right? There's a blue key. Uh, I guess I need to read the scroll. Also, I just cut myself off that path. Choosing when and where to move is key. Yeah, like, don't do what I just did. That's an early save. Well. We get the idea. Let's see. I'm not going to open that door. I want my bonus points. And I'm going to see what happens when we go south here. A 
So actually, this character to the right of where I'm standing kind of looks like the garbage I got on the front screen. Is that good or bad to have? Also, I trapped myself, so I'm going to go with bad. Because I can't go through this transporter. One more time. Grab some keys. And I'm going to the passage. Exiting stage one, entering stage two. Normy bonus. That's the first. Okay. Ah, yeah, that would do it. Let's see. Generate passcode, of course. SGFD. Am I, like, unable? Well, no, I've been saving. I'm obviously able to save. Well, in case you burn this game to a CD and run it off the disc, now I guess you have a way to resume. Ooh, boy. Okay. So there's two yellow and a white here already. So I need to get a blue, which is in that mess over there. This is definitely one of those games that I should play off stream so nobody can see how bad I am at them. Oh yeah, that would be helpful. I have passwords for that. In case you're like me and you save with a soft lock. So I have to get that purple. Then, yeah, don't take the white because then I can take the white there. I need cyan. There is a cyan key. I'm not seeing that one anywhere. Well, gotta go forward. Ah, okay. Well, 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 I don't even know what I. How oh, are these bullets? Yes, confirmed. I can't even imagine a setup to get to this area down here. Purple, sure. Mm -hmm. Like there's a blue right here. I don't even need to get to those. So blue, yellow, yellow, white. So that should be enough to let me just... Okay, well. I just got robbed. Where? Where? Where was there a goose? Oh, there's one. Very hidden. This is so incredibly not the game I should be playing. That goose doesn't do anything. I 
No, it is the opposite of kind of nice. Because my brain doesn't work. My brain goes into smart child in school mode, so like, if I don't figure it out immediately, then something, something's gone wrong. Uh, I need to open a green door. Can't take that. I don't have a yellow key. Oh my god. Level two. Carefully get purple key. Get the white key here. Gonna get a red key here. Okay, I had a hunch on that. I'm getting my bonus points. Then I wanted to get... Okay, so I do need that green key though, because otherwise I'm not going to be able to get past the second green key. So let me do that now. Oh, uh, nope. Bad. This is a good concept for a puzzle game, though. Okay, so I want to open a green. Just to burn a green. Oh, I'm opening this one. What you got for me, Goose? Oh no! Didn't I get a blue key eventually last time? I thought I had a blue. I know that one to the right runs away, but I swear I picked one up somewhere. I don't trust myself, so I'm just going to burn that key and keep my numbers high. Okay, so I need a green key. I need... I already picked up a white key, so I can't pick up that white key. How many levels is this? We're going to be here a while. This is level two. Oh boy, nine levels. This goes here. Okay, now I regret picking up the white key. Don't pick up the white. Well, no, that's how I got stuck last time. I needed to burn the white key, because I picked up the one somewhere. I had to pick up the one in the wall. That's a, that's smart, having a YouTube <laughs> walkthrough for this. Oh, man. So I make a purple open purple. I can't. 
If I pick up that white, I can get that one. So I have to get the white one that's in the purple ring. And then I need to open a white door. Can't do that. I need... So I'm starting to think that I don't want any of the keys in here in the end. And I'm going to want to save that yellow key so I can bring it up here. There's another over there. But I have to take damage. But that also means not. Ugh. This is the exact opposite of something I should be streaming. Like. This is very smart and well thought out. But. genuinely don't think I can get through this in any reasonable amount of time. I am going to play this one off stream, because otherwise we are just going to get this every single level, for sure. So um, this one beat me significantly. Good job. But I definitely need to do this elsewhere. Okay. Well, next then, like, yes, I will definitely play this properly. Like, I don't want to, like, deprive your game. But next, what I need to do, though, is I've got this one presented without further comments. What's the full title of this? It's not even written here. I'm sure it'll be on the title screen. Um, you may notice that I am playing in a browser and it's very freaking tiny, unfortunately. But I have been instructed that this game needs to be played in the browser. Because I think it's going to actually do shit unrelated to ZZT. Okay, don't press escape. I wanted to get my mouse cursor back. So... Aha! Maze the Mahayana. So what I will do is try this. Oh, look at that beautiful non-integer scaling. That's possibly worse. And then it doesn't fit. And I think I probably just spoiled something by seeing that. There's a full screen button, but then I can't see chat or anything is the problem. And presumably, you know, if, if I need the browser, like, I probably need, you know, to see the browser parts of the browser. Hopefully this is acceptable. I apologize. Large enough to be readable. That's good. All right. That's what happens when you make games like this. Okay, your, your sect threw you into the maze as punishment for your slow progression. The maze is filled with many dangers, and you will need your wits about you if you are to have any chance of succeeding. Your task is to find the 14 purple keys hidden throughout the maze. These keys unlock the doors leading to the center of the maze, your destination. One last thing, there's something in the maze you should beware.
All right, so we got, quote, town parody. <laughs> From the author of Unlimited Maze Works. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Y'all know we got like a double digit number of people who are watching this. Maybe it's a joke, and I just don't go this way. This is not what they came for. This game doesn't have any kittens to yet, at least. There we go. See, this is so much nicer. You fall in some lines and decide this cameo business is not for everyone. Uh. Gotta get these lines to scatter a bit because I don't have any ammo. And I only have 100 health. All right, this isn't gonna go well. Well, at least I know it's a real key. Oh my goodness. How dare you? <laughs> okay. I persist through death. That's good. 13 to go. Oh man, I haven't done a Sudoku in a long time. I gotta say, a tiny ZZT window ain't the greatest for it. Okay, so that's a two. At least this is a puzzle I'm somewhat confident in. Okay. And at least at first glance is probably an easier one. I have not, I don't think I've actually done a Sudoku since high school. Uh, what number was I looking for? One, two, three, four, five, six, number eight. Yes, you will do. This one's running a modified CCTM. I'm curious if the numbers like just check for blocked or if there's like advanced ZZT editing shenanigans happening to handle this. Not at first glance. I'll probably deduce something here. So that needs a three and a six. That one's got it six. So top left here has to be the six. But I also have to push things carefully here to be able to push things down into here. So that top left though should be the six. <laughs> So the other numbers are three. Okay, so three goes in the middle. Easy. Now I feel smart again. The other is the nine.
This is like the cruelest Sudoku input method ever. And don't quote me on that because I know people could devise far worse than this. So this column, one, two, three, four, needs five. Okay, so five in the lower right there. There's something invisible blocking me here. Boy, the scaling on the 6 and the 8 here looks really weird. I might get lost in stream compression, though. Oh no, it's like there's a vertical seam. Okay, anyway. Leftmost, 1, 2, 3. Yeah, I'm sure it's just because I'm like literally using generic browser scaling. I hit Control plus to increase the font size. <laughs> One, two, three, I need a four. And five, six, seven, and eight. Uh, did something just flicker? I'm pretty sure something just flickered. Am I going to get Sudoku jump scared? Okay, this one needs a two and an eight. Eight is here, okay. So eight, two for the middle. Where's an eight? I'm really waiting for this to be like missing a piece. How do I get that? Can I even wiggle that into place? What happens if I push against the wall? Nothing. I'm on to your tricks somewhat. Because anything going across here can't get pushed down. Anything going up here can't get pushed. I will never enjoy Sudoku, will I? Let's move along again. Now this I can do. Oh my god. So, how's everybody's day going so far? Mine could be better. Yeah, I suppose it would be for you. Okay. What happened to the bank passage? Oh. That tracks. That's for the vest. Okay, only because my assumption is going to be that there are no torches in this game and I'm going to just get a cheeky message if I cheat. Oh no, that's just the bank.
Every flicker just worries me. All right. Yeah. Okay, you know what, though? I did this exact same thing in my own horrible town parody years ago, so... I knew that one was coming. And some really nice looking shading on that border, though. Look at how those colors pop. Okay, well, that's the entire game, I guess. I have no idea if I should load it. Well, you know, I know there's more to it. <sighs> okay, would not have guessed that. Am I supposed to take out my frustrations on this game? Because... can do that, no problem. Did I destroy anything by zapping the rest? Great. Oh man. My Z key is gonna break. Okay, but if I was supposed to do that, what does that mean for everything else? Look at that, it displays my extensions. I didn't notice that. Okay. I genuinely can't even tell if this is any faster. Oh, there goes my frame of reference. Actually, those colors didn't flash very fast. I would not be surprised if that was disabled entirely. Go west. Can I just zap? Am I allowed to just zap? Your game told me to zap, so I'm assuming zap is a verb I have access to. <laughs> well, I definitely think you nailed the troll part of this jam, for sure. Does this maze form a picture? Has somebody run the atlas on it? Although from what Azzy was saying, that apparently it was literally effort to extract the ZZT file from this submission, so... Probably nobody has. Cool.
What do you call your lock? You know, one of the secret endings for Wake Up and Save the World involves a roughly five minute long real time wait. And I just worry that this game is going to blow that out of the water. I can't wait until next week. I don't know what I'm going to stream, but it's going to be a fun game. Like, no matter what. I'm just going to play Link's Adventure. Nobody else likes it. But I do. I'll just play Burger Joint again. Oh, dear. This is a metaphor now. For something. Is this, this is zooming out, I think? Yes. I have many, many questions now because we're still using Zeta here. This is still a DOS executable. So how does this work? Because I don't think DOS just has arbitrary text modes like this. With every step, I feel... So I'm going to guess that no, nobody has made a map of this. Okay, my stream preview just died, and I'm very worried that it died for you right there, because man, that would not be a good spot to die. Y'all got to see all that, right? Okay, good. I think it was just me. Because, yeah, it hasn't come back, but also OBS is like, no problems here. Okay, the problem is I have no idea what to do do in this. A board filled with lines. If I didn't have any ammo. See, this is a level of obtuse that I was like too much of a coward to attempt. Let me, let me let you in on a little secret. I do not have the bank vault combination memorized.
What's that? You know, if I just you violated the law, pay the court a fine or serve your sentence. Your stolen goods are now forfeit. <laughs> I have so many questions about how this works. All right, I still need to die. Also, I'm starting to see why this had to be a browser game. So is this just... Hooking into the JavaScript? Well, I mean, I guess it has to be hooking into the JavaScript, but... This is a multimedia experience. Alright. In the south edge. Okay, I know. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was like something realized very early. When I got, I don't even remember what purple key it was, but I got some purple key. And I was like, oh, great, but now I can't do a thing. And then I restarted. And I was like, oh, I still have my purple key. Okay, handy zap cheat can be used even on the board edges, including the south edge. Which, yeah. So, under normal circumstances, the ZZT boards look like this, and there's basically an extra border around the entire thing that's just the board edge tile. So the actual board is slightly larger. And normally you will just like walk out, and you can start walking around in memory, but instead... Oh, I remember playing a game like this before. Oh, I'm glad I was in a spot to catch that. I'm really confident this game is going to yell at me for using hints for every single thing.
Thank goodness. Listen, I would love it if I could, like, solve one of this game's puzzles on my own. But I just don't think it's gonna happen. Okay. <laughs> All right, I already know what this is going to be. It's going to be a much more fun game. Feel free to turn it up at home. That's the power of the Sound Blaster. I've never actually beaten this game. It would definitely take me a while to do so here. No, I just want to play caverns. And listen to this song for hours. which is how long it will take me to pick up this coin. Alright, moving on. What am I doing? Talk to the other dwarf at the top, and then talk to the dwarf in the grove again. Okay, see, I, I vaguely remembered how this game starts. So we need the five rainbow gems, of which we found one. And that game just quietly giving me a key.
Oh, I can see all the secrets. Oh, I can see all the folders. I don't think it's going to show me anything that's not an SAV file. <laughs> Are these still called- were those just called ruffians? Does it just like lift them wholesale? Or do they get a different name? Ah yes, goblins! Ready for another jam! You can tell this game is from 1994 because Jansen was like, hey, I should have stars in my game too. How many lives do I have? Oh, I got plenty. This game is the future. <laughs> wow. Okay. There's a key. Every time I hit page down, it just gets taken over by the browser rather than Zeta here. Alright, this looks good to prints. Is it Alt-P? I've never used this functionality. That was a very good printer sound. Yeah, okay. Monochrome. Boy, I hope it's saving my progress as I refresh this page. That is a much nicer monochrome. There's something spooky about all this. Also, I want the record to show that when I played in mono mode, I also hit J for joystick. Oh, 
Okay, this is another thing that's like horrible memory. Yeah. Well, it was worth a shot. Okay. a bit more readable. Alright. Uh, that's a big ZZT file from 1998. Print me. Okay, well, that's a third eye opening. Two to go. Okay, hang on. Uh, these are not the keys that I'm pressing. Oh, no! <laughs> no! I finally solved the puzzle, and I'm still not satisfied. I can't, I can't quit this. I hit enter, I hit escape. Typing furiously. Oh, I can just hold down a key. <sighs> okay, <laughs> thanks for the heads up. Okay, so I didn't actually solve anything. There's about 40 minutes. Cool. If I read all this out loud, will you pledge to my Patreon? I don't think I would take that. Actually, no. Hang on. Hang on. I just, I just want to find one of these like by myself. Let's try mouse mode. Because the mouse lets you hold the pause button. Okay. I think that mouse is just removed entirely. I'm clicking and I ain't getting nothing. Never mind, there goes my next idea. What else do we have? What else we got? We've done. Ugh. It's on about. Fun. Play the game real slow. Oh, okay. You can turn the game speed down just fine. Yeah. 
Senator, uh. Okay, so much for debug. Wait a minute. That probably wasn't a solution, though. Okay, it didn't get saved. Yeah, because all the other cheats were working. Um, alright. I'm still vested. Okay, other edges. Good effort. Um. I <laughs> hit the kill screen. I'm assuming... Oh. Refresh page. Okay. Hey, it just dawned on me that you made this in a month. I'm very impressed. Got left. I'd really love to solve anything. I mean, at this point, I've not zapped left. I don't have high hopes for that. Okay, well. Great. I figured one out by the process of elimination.
here we go. I, I, I finally understand how this game works. And now it's over. No comments on what just happened. Well, I guess we can see that. Okay, let's reset my progress and... Oh, oops. Well, probably too late for additional hints then. Refresh page, break free keyboard. Yep. Puts this back to normal. Ugh. Yeah. Okay, it's, yeah. Well, what happens if you do one extra hint at the end? Tells you to try question mark disco. Hmm, well that's suspicious. Okay. Well, don't do that. Oh! That lingered. Well, I would have been so much more motivated if this was going on the whole time. There should have been a Wraith Baron for this. Oh, I guess white doesn't change color. I want to see that thing flash. All right. I guess that's that. Be careful with this one. So let's see what even remains. We have one more, I believe. Played Rome, played Potion, played Maze, played Bubba's. Well, one more, that's his easy tea game, if that counts. 
Uh, did not play Zombie Man because that's not as easy to game. I didn't play that. Okay, so yes, we have one more to go. And it's just a regular, normal CZT game. I hope. Welcome, you're just in time. And what did I call that folder? I am going to play in Zeta, where the CCT games are supposed to be. So our final... Yes, this is indeed our final troll game for Rock Troll Fest. It's the infuriatingly vexatious treasure of Uriah Madborough. 200 kilobytes of hair-tearing ZZT madness. So, lord willing. Oh no. Not different at all, is it? Short fish. That's too long to fit in here. Oh, right. This game came with a mysterious zip file within its zip file. Which is password protected. So we've got the truth within, well, we've got secret.zip, which contains the truth within.zip, and it wants a password. And I should have moved my window so I could read the password as I enter the text. S E H Schwartz Fish. Looking good. Looking great. Now we have a new ZZT file, which appears to be the same title screen. A very brief Octoberfest entry. Okay, the infuriatingly vexatious treasure of Uriah Manborough. You are an explorer who has made their way to the vault of that long name. Inside the vault is known to be the crown of Uriah Manborough, although none have managed to open the vexatious door guarding the crown. It said that a black key will open the door, but you have not found one. Nonetheless, there are some riches in the chamber. Perhaps they will help you fund your search of nearby areas. 63 gems. Ah, okay. Uh oh, it's spanky. Okay, 256 gems to get out. Well, we gotta get out. Convenient. These sure are objects. Okay. So we got ourselves a black key, which is easy to really ain't a fan of. No. I may have rendered this game unwinnable. Well. Yes, okay, well Spanky here is happy to explain it. Black Key has the property of 256 gems. Of course, he gave me those, I'm not giving them back, so I guess you're stuck in here with me. Okay, so we need another 256 gems, or not. What if I just open the door to begin with? I don't know, that's only... Great, now I can get the treasure. A lost crown. Draw all that frustration, all the suffering, all the diversions. Uriah Madrow's final work is finally within your grasp. What are you waiting for? Take that crown. Two. Take the crown. Take the crown. Walk away. 
For all the trouble you've gone through, after everything you've had to deal with, you realize that this ground's probably just going to cause you no end of trouble. Turn on your heel and walk out of the room, deciding to head home. You think you'll get something to eat on the way. Maybe it's just spank you into a mud puddle while you're at it. And so you decided to go home. Um, probably not, because I'm noticing a console right now that is saying file not found, con.help. So, that ain't good. I think this game is not punching me, so... No. <laughs> well... That's okay, I got the good ending then. A nice delicious sandwich. I'm gonna get a DOS error. Is there no... I just have, I do have like a normal zzt.dat in there. Bug only works in Windows. Man, look at that sentence. Bug only work in Windows, DOS, and Linux. That's, yeah. Sorry. If only I had known. Because, I mean, I want to at least try off stream the other like jam entries that aren't ZZT games, and those are going to require me to go into Windows, apparently. Even that Java one did not want to work. I am more than happy to embarrass people over the internet. But you know what? I got to have a sandwich. And you know what? That game was a lot more polite than the last one. And any of the others. Well, no. The Kitty Parade one was not mean to me. Some were meaner than others. Some broke my brain a little bit. Java one, yeah, I, I read Will's comments on like what it takes to run it and the nights it would open like a Java window and just be a blank screen. So I'm mean, gonna just try under Windows later and hopefully that'll work. I don't know. But I guess that's the end of this. I have been sufficiently trolled. And I really am going to play a nice ZZT game next Sunday. I don't know what that's going to be. Oh, actually, I think I do. Yeah, maybe. Maybe that'll work. We shall see. But I'm making a note right now that perhaps that game would be fun to play on stream. But that's going to be it then. Thank you all for watching. Oh, my viewer count just went up by one. Sorry, buddy. You're too late. Stream is ending. We will be back next week with a normal ZZT game compatible with ZZT 3.2 for MS-DOS. You do not, with a matching checksum to Tim Sweeney's ZZT 3.2. No shenanigans next week. Just a regular adventure, please. Thank you. Goodbye.